Taylor Swift won the Grammy for Album of the Year, and she got it straight from Big Goat, Celine Dion, but uh, let's see if you can notice something in the following clip. So both Celine and Swift are on stage. Swift is uh, really excited, and uh, wait for it. You can see it for yourself right there. I'm sure that you notice that Swift completely ignores Celine, but if we look at this in slow motion, the reality is much, much worse. It's important to remember that Celine suffers from a rare neurological disorder called stiff person syndrome, and it must not have been a walk in the park being there to present the award. The first thing we notice is that Celine is standing right there with the award in her hands, but not just standing there. She's actively looking at Swift while she's greeting every other person who was in the stage at that moment, including Lana Del Rey for some reason that, well, nobody can explain. So it's not like Celine was disconnected from the moment or not caring much. She must know what this means for Swift, of course. It's a huge moment, so she wants to make sure that the instant Taylor goes to her, well, she's going to greet her how she deserves. She even says something to Swift. I don't understand what she says, but it must have been some uh, congratulations, which is the only thing you have time to say in a situation like this. But not even that had any sort of acknowledgement in that instant. In fact, Swift grabs the award from her, and again, there is no eye contact. Posting this on Twitter, I got all the excuses you can imagine from her fans. That since Celine Dion has that stiff person syndrome, then there is allegedly a no-contact clause that prevents anyone from hugging her. Well, those clauses are for the most part really private and concealed from the public, so I don't know how these um, fans could possibly know it. But at the same time, they sent me this picture like a thousand times to prove that Taylor really loved seeing Celine. And to be fair, I cannot imagine that Taylor Swift doesn't admire Celine Dion for her career and trajectory. I'm going to give Swift the benefit of the doubt about that, but then I don't get it. Celine either has this so-called no-contact clause, so Swift couldn't get near her on the stage, but she can absolutely hug and even lean into her in the backstage. So you tell me if this doesn't look as a public relations crisis management. And I also guess that the alleged no-contact clause included not making any eye contact whatsoever. The other argument that Swift has had is that, oh, Taylor absolutely greeted Celine when she entered the stage. She stood up and was cheering. Well, yes, yes, of course, the same as everyone else around her. Do you really think this is the same situation, greeting someone who enters the stage versus actually receiving the award from them, like having them face to face? I would I would really like to know what would be Taylor Swift fans' reaction if the roles had been reversed. If she has she was handing the award to someone and that someone completely ignore her. That would be a complete meltdown. And some Grammy watchers share this clip. Maybe uh, I don't like to make, uh, you know, comparisons because everyone could behave differently. That's a given. But this is Miley Cyrus receiving her first Grammy that same night. So she must be absolutely overwhelmed, right? You bet she was. But the emotions didn't get the best of her, and she made sure to greet Mariah Carey, another legend of the industry, in a proper way. Contrary to what many people that will be coming to watch this video just to attack me will say, I have nothing against Taylor Swift. I even made a recent video about her relationship with Travis Kelsey, and I got nice feedback from her fans. I just try to be fair. And yes, sometimes manners can fail us, but that's when habits come into play. If you don't want this kind of things to happen, there is only one thing you can do, and it's to have good manners with everyone you meet. So by the time you're going to receive an award from effing Celine Dion, it's just automatic. Again, that's what happens when you do things all the time and have good manners with everyone you meet. But if you can't do the bare minimum when you're receiving a Grammy for Best Album, 
I can only wonder how you treat anybody else. Still, I would like to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Body Language Guy. And remember, much love and bliss.